So now both teams are still struggling, though. That's the thing. They're both struggling. And this is my prediction. Not knowing that the Cubs don't have guys like Bryant, Rizzo, Baez, Hayward, some dude just retired from the Cubs, John Lester dude. They still got Contreras and just a bunch of nobodies. While the White Sox are still developing their they're, they have young guys, maybe not a Bray you. he's like 34, 35, and they're still developing, like, they're, they're coming off a fresh good season last season, obviously they lost in the playoffs last year to Houston, and like, it's tough when your team loses this bad, 10-1 to to Houston. It's just bad. And the Cubs didn't even make the playoffs last year, like, at all. They're both 9-13, and 13, and they're both in Wrigley. So I don't know why it's the White Sox like this. Okay, now, because the White Sox are on the road and the Cubs are at home. But my prediction is that the White Sox, if they lose, I don't see them getting blown out. I could see them keeping it close and still lose. That's what happens if they'll lose. If they win at least around one to three points, if they lose at least two to four points, I can see it going either way. I don't see the White Sox losing, but then I don't see them winning. I, I think the White Sox have a high chance of winning. They can, If they can sweep the Cubs, they can get back to normal. They could be like 13-13 or something because – the start of the season is not going so good for the Sox. And I said it last year when the White Sox were struggling a little bit. Early in the season, I was like, the White Sox are going to get back. It's a new season. Things are, things are going to get better. It's just They're just starting fresh. So I think the White Sox will be better. You know, maybe not better than last year, but somewhere good. I think the White Sox can at least make the playoffs if they're not the one seed. Then at least like two, three seed, maybe four. I don't know what the seeding seedings are, but I could see the White Sox like being even, maybe not even, but maybe like a little bit above even to make the, to the playoffs. Cubs, I would say at least like I could see them being decent too. Last year was terrible for the Cubs, but this year I could see them being decent. I don't see them being top team at all, nor the White Sox, but I think White Sox will have, later in the year will have a closer chance and better chance of having success than the Cubs. <coughs> White Sox got guys like Jimenez, Brayu, Moncado, wherever he is, Anderson, uh, some other guys, Roberts, like those four guys. Anderson, Jimenez, Abreu, and Robert. My phone is literally finna die, but I'll charge out this video. They are, those guys are on the verge of, to be all-stars. Abreu already made it, but I think this is the time for Robert and Jimenez and Anderson to actually get there. They're both, all of them are young, bro. Like, third, fourth year, second, third, fourth year in Chicago. And they are shining. I don't have any other White Sox jersey, but Jimenez. Like, I'm actually not even, not even, like, I'm not even messing around. Like, I'm actually serious. Like, I actually don't have any other White Sox jersey. I have a white one and a black one. Not the all white. The black one. Not the south side one. Just the current black one. I don't like the one. I don't like the White Sox white jerseys, the home. Like I'll show you. Like these. <laughs> I don't like that. It just don't look right. I know that's the White Sox home, and they wear it all the time. But I just don't. I'm not seeing it. Like this. That is not right. That just doesn't look right. I don't know, but I don't know about you, but. Obviously, a lot of people like the white jerseys at home. White is meant for home, but I'm just not seeing it with this. 
I do like this uniform. The White Sox with the black at home. It just suits the White Sox. I know their name. White. And their, and their colors mean it's supposed to be white. But I would rather see them in black because all white? Absolutely not. But just like black like that is fine. It doesn't have all the stripes on them. It doesn't have too much detail. This is a plain black jersey. It has the little baseball, the, the little thing on the side, and then the stripes. That's it. That's all they got. These aren't bad either. These aren't bad. They look good. They actually look really good. I don't like one with the white hat, but I think the blue, the blue hat makes it better. It's, it's better. It's a white one. Obviously, in my Cubs video, the Cubs suck video. You obviously see me in this exact same jersey. And like in a different hat, but mm -hmm. these are cool. And I'll go to the and I don't know what I'm doing, but just talking about the Cubs. White size predictions. I don't know these. Like these are just beautiful. No white pants, it's just South Side, the, the Chicago South Side font, the numbers, the Chicago abbreviation on the hat. Black jersey, white pinstripes instead of just black. It's like got the home and then that. It's just swapped. It's just so much better. It's so much better. Now, which one do y'all really like better? So, obviously, on the left side is the White Sox. On the right is the Cubs. Which one do y'all like better? I swear, if y'all choose the Cubs, you're completely dumb. Well, no. I respect your opinion, but I don't. I respect it because everyone has their opinion. Not everyone's the same. But I don't because the blue is so ugly. They, don't, they didn't even add any red into it. That's the thing. If they added more red, like the Wrigleyville could be red, then I'd be like, okay. But you don't. It's like it's just not right. The White Sox actually wore those jerseys today. I'm not even joking. Like, they actually did. But or in the Cubs and Sox. This could be an even game, though. Cubs could win. Sox could win. The only problem, the problem is it is in Wrigley, though. That's going to make it harder for the Sox because White Sox were pretty bad on a road, but then we're pretty bad at home. We're just, we're a good team, though. White Sox have some pretty good wins, pretty good upsets, and then completely getting upset. It wouldn't be an upset for either. Because they're both exactly in the same spot. Same record. Possibly same placing in the division. They're just stuck in the same situation. It's just the White Sox didn't trade all their players away. Some team. I don't know. This could be an even game. If I had to choose. My gut says go with the Cub. Cubs, but I want to say the White Sox, but they just have more more problems than the Cubs right now. Like White Sox are back and forth and back and forth. Like if they didn't have that long losing streak, they would probably be the best team in the league. But that losing streak killed us, and now we're just below. And I'm like, what is actually going on? It's just been back and forth year for the Cubs. Like one, this today we they win, next day they lose, and then they win, lose. It's just back and forth. I just want the White Sox to have a winning streak, not just one win, then a loss, then a win, then a loss. Like I don't want that. If you, you just win, try to maintain it and actually get a winning streak instead of having a losing streak or just a win and loss pattern. So predictions, I want to go with the White Sox, like really bad. I don't know, because the Cubs are struggling, too. Like, it could go either way. I don't know if I want to go for the Cubs. I'm not ever going for the Cubs, even if they're in the World Series. I will go for the other team, even if it's the Astros, because I hate the Astros, too, because they are such cheaters. Like, I'm actually not just saying, no, they're not good. They're just too good. No, like, they're actually cheating. 
You saw monitors on their bodies. You know they're cheating. Astros, try it. One season without cheating. Y'all will probably be worse than the Orioles and Diamondbacks. But what do you guys think? White Sox or Cubs? Who do y'all think is going to win? I got a message. But I literally have no actual idea on who I think could win. It could be... Like, it's 50-50. Like, one side of my gut says go with the Cubs. But then the other gut says go with the, with the Sox. I literally can't even decide right now. Like, this is actually, honestly, the hardest choice I have right now. During, like, maybe closer to football season or maybe close to next week. Okay, N maybe not next week. Maybe, like, in three weeks because... The black the bull season is over. Black Hawk season just ended like two days ago. And then with baseball season, Illinois and the Bears are coming back. Illinois and Bears season coming back. So I have no full idea, bro. I actually really don't know. It's so guys, it's gonna say ten it's gonna say twenty minutes on this thing, but it's actually gonna, gonna be cut down, alright? Gonna be cut down. So, I really don't know who I would choose. I might, like, it makes it harder <laughs> that it's in Wrigley. But it, but the White Sox swept them two straight years in a row. So it could be like, maybe the White Sox can go third time as a charm. But the Cubs could, look for, could be looking for revenge. I may have to choose the Sox 51% over and 49%. Only because they actually have players that are well they actually have their players. The White Sox didn't get rid of anybody. They didn't get rid of their their players. Well, players that are the team that makes the team what they are right now. Like, this is a hard decision. I can't even decide. Let me let me know what you guys think. Cubs, Sox. Who knows? See y'all later.